Hello my friends, in a new video about Yang Xinhai, the most dangerous serial killer in China. He committed the most heinous crimes, 67 murders and rape of 25 women. Follow us to know the full story. He is a serial killer who left China's top investigators baffled. He committed his crimes with great intelligence, as the police were not even close to identifying him. He exterminated entire families and raped more than 20 women without batting an eyelid or moving a conscience. What is the story behind Yang Xinhai, the Chinese serial killer? On November 3, 2003, when police conducted a routine search of a leisure home in Sangzhou City, Hebei Province, China. She wasn't looking for any dangerous criminal, but just because Yang Xinhai felt uncomfortable during the search and started acting suspiciously, he was arrested and investigated. Continued interrogation and DNA analysis revealed that the man in their custody killed without mercy. There were a total of 67 brutal murders in a relatively short period of three years. It did not take Yang Xinhai long to confess that he had brutally killed more than 60 people and raped many women. Xinhai's DNA has been linked to a number of different crime scenes spread across four provinces, Anhui, Shandong, Hebei, and Hunan, with Hunan as the center of Yang Xinhai's sordid activities. With the DNA evidence and Xinhai's testimony, the authorities had a watertight case against Xinhai, and nothing short of the death penalty. Yang was later convicted of 67 murders and 23 rapes in 26 separate killings, which also left 10 people seriously injured. Explaining his reasons for killing, Shin He reportedly said, When I killed people, I had a desire. This killing inspired me even more. I don't care if they deserve to live or not, it doesn't matter to me. I have no desire to be part of society. Society doesn't matter to me. Who is Yang Xinhai? He was born on July 29, 1968 in Qingyang Town, Sumadian, Hunan Province, China. Amidst one of the poorest families in the village, Yang Xinhai, also known as Yang Jia and Yang Lu, was the youngest among his brothers. As a young boy, he was intelligent but introverted and did not interact with others easily. Yang did not apply his intelligence to study, so he stopped in 1985 at the age of 17. He began working odd jobs, working mostly as a general laborer. However, he did not strive for a simple and upright life, and got into trouble in 1988 when he was sent to a labor camp for theft. But this did not change him and he received another sentence in 1991 for theft again. The punishment appears to have had no deterrent or corrective effect on Yang. In 1996, he was convicted of attempted rape in Zumadian, Hunan province, and sentenced to five years in prison. Somehow, it was released early in 2000. Yang did not give any specific reason for the killing, which he began in the same year of his release, other than that he had a strong desire to kill. However, a report published in Yen Zhao Dushi newspaper claimed that since Yang was sentenced to prison and labor reform camps on charges of robbery and rape, his girlfriend had broken up with him and as a result he had developed a vindictive attitude toward society. The murders seemed like random killings. It is not that he killed without planning or struck impulsively like an animal driven by instinct. Not only did he plan his crimes at least a few hours in advance, he also thought about how to escape detection and arrest. For a long time, the police had no clue who they were looking for because Yang was wearing shoes of various sizes and types during the killings. He burned the clothes and shoes after each killing spree. Moreover, he did not use a fixed weapon to kill. He used axes, shovels, knives and hammers for this purpose, and all these tools are commonplace objects, which made it difficult for the police to proceed with the investigation. In most cases, Yang murdered entire families and left behind no living witness. Yang Xinhai, a monster with a human appearance. A farmer named Lu Zhangwei lived in Lu Zhang village, Shaiping, Hunan province, in his late thirties, 
with his family consisting of his parents, wife, son and daughter. They had managed to build a new house and decided to move in on December 9, 2002. Lu's father, Lu Zhong Yuan, 68 years old, sleeps in the new house that night. But fate had something terrible in store for them. On the night of December 6, 2002, Yang Xinhai entered the house around midnight, and hit each family member in the head and face several times with a hammer, causing Lu Zhanwei's wife to die instantly, as well as his son and daughter. His mother survived, but with serious injuries. She finally died of her injuries in hospital ten days later. The only individual to survive the massacre was Lu Zhongyuan, Lu Zhanwei's 68-year-old father, simply because he was sleeping in the new house and was not with the rest of his family on the fateful night. Lu Zhongyuan later replayed the horrific scene of his granddaughter lying in a pool of her own blood with a hole in her head. The house was soaked with the blood of his loved ones. The fact that the deaths were caused by a hammer only came to light when Yang Xinhai confessed to using a hammer to kill the family after his arrest. He also told police during interrogation that after the killing, he buried the hammer near a grave and threw his clothes into a river. It was not clear whether the authorities had recovered the hammer or clothes. Little information regarding the details of the crimes committed by Yang Xinhai has been released to the ant by investigative agencies. Due to the lack of information, the people living in the four provinces were not aware that a serial killer was on the prowl, and it is not difficult to say that by preventing the dissemination of information regarding the murders, the government put a large number of unsuspecting people, throughout the four provinces, at risk, in danger of life. After the arrest, the story of Yang Xinhai's arrest came to light when a few journalists in Sangzhou where he was arrested heard from several sources about who Yang Xinhai was and what he did. However, the police remained silent on the issue. Long after the story was published without official confirmation, officials from the authorities confirmed some details of Yang's arrest and crimes to the North China Morning Bulletin. After Yang's arrest, Shi Guizhong, director of the Public Security Bureau's Prosecution Department, reportedly confirmed to AFP that there were at least 65 victims, adding, although the case has been resolved in Hebei, the, it involves several provinces, so it is up to the Ministry of Public Security to clear the information. Police officials in other provinces where Yang was killed refused to reveal anything, except that there were orders from the Ministry of Public Security not to speak to the media about the case. As for Yang's trial, the trial reportedly lasted less than an hour before Yang Xinhai was found guilty of killing 67 people and raping 25 women on February 1, 2004 by the Intermediate People's Court of Luaha City, Hunan Province. Yang was sentenced to death, which was carried out just as quickly on February 14, 2004 and was executed by a gunshot wound to the head. Even the details or identities of Yang's victims have not been revealed to the public. What do you think, dear listener, about the reasons that made Yang commit his crimes? Was it possible to prevent it? Leave us a comment, was this punishment deserved or is this not enough? Before we finish, do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive all new updates. See you soon.